to this abandoned hospital. I got some homeless guy shopping carts, but right when you walk in, it's just filled with paperwork. We got the big organ right here. And then the auditorium, it's just completely destroyed in here. Just look at all this paperwork that they left in the auditorium. This is covered. And there's just boxes right here. Lab paperwork, employee files. Paperwork from 2011. It's all scattered along here too. January 2005. And these ones are filled out too. Discharge book. We're taking a path through the flooded basement to try and find the morgue. I don't know why they have a lock specifically on just that door. Wow, this room just looks so cool. This is the surgery room we're looking for. Sick. And then the bed here, I'm not too sure what those stains are. Just setting up the operation table for my next patient. Step on the table, sir. We're ready for you. All right, today we'll be doing an incision from the top of your chest to the bottom of your toe. Some labs over here. So I just kind of stumbled upon this room right next to the morgue. We found the morgue and I was gonna shoot it, but I was like, let's see what's in these rooms. I don't really know what I came across, but it's just covered in these pictures. They were a little bit obsessed, they looked like. I'm in 2016. They just boxed up all the paperwork and threw it in the corner on all these rooms. Alright, so we just made it into the autopsy room. Or like the mold, I would say. And there's three different autopsy beds here. With the lights, huge lights still up. Got one of some tags, I'll show you this one. Oh, they broke this one out, but it was crazy big. And then here, you can see the grime on the table. This is a cool shot. Let's see all three. I don't, I don't know what this is. It's like paint or anything. There's still some paperwork right here. Is this from some patient? Oh, look at that on the bed stuff. Even over here, we oh, have yeah, more of these. I don't want to touch that. It looks like it's just paint stained. This is what the the these are. It's from the wall. Someone threw like paint. It looks like yeah, because it makes it look eerie. Look, monthly reports, but it looks like it's blood stained. <laughs> Do not use toxic, explosive, or flammable substances in this cabinet. Oh, look at the grime on the light, the rust.
Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that like 10 homeless people live in these buildings. So every corner we take, it's just a surprise if there's gonna be a homeless guy or not. So that door right there is the autopsy room. These are like little office spaces. Hello? Pens and sanitizers and all that good stuff. Over here there was paperwork filled out. From 87. The more we go up, the scarier it gets with these homeless people. Just opening one of these doors and looking down the hallway, it's just terrifying. This is another room out of hell. Just black walls. Oh yeah, labs. House rules still over there. There's like stuff on the floor that was not here last time. And like covering the actual tables. This one says 1999 or just $1,999. For biohazard and waste. So I can see the logo on one of them. Biohazard. I'm not too sure what these are, but I saw a bunch of them last time. Oh, here. See, they're right there. Laboratory, laboratory glassware washer. Clinic calendar from 1991. Alright, so it looks like there's a bunch of these sheets where they would collect things and look under the telescope. I don't know. It's pretty cool. Microsoft Excel for Windows. Pathologist. Oh, these are, look at this. This is so cool. This is like a part for a microscope. More tele review for us. Oh, here, some vials, empty vials. A whole, a whole brand new pack of them. We're getting to floor five now. I'm not too sure what this is. Do you know what this is? I'm not too sure. There's just a closet here with a bunch of beakers. Unbroken. It's pretty cool. Even behind the door here. There's still some more. It's little funnels. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, for sure. Oh look, there's still some stuff on the chalkboard. A lot of stuff left in these cabinets. Little flasks. Oh, that's that same one. Yeah, that's cool. Just in another random laboratory. Oh, 
<laughs> I didn't even notice. Just little tubes. Biohazard fridges. A little sticker on the side. They still have these little with grime. There's hair all over that, and this was like a gauze someone used. Do not change temperature and refrigeration. So there's a fridge right in the middle of the hallway. Oh my gosh, who just went in this cabinet right here? It was just full of stuff. And I'm gonna be fully honest, I can't even tell you what. 99% of the stuff is. Vacuum pump oil. It's a lot of vacuum stuff, but biokinetics reader. Like patient forms from 2006. There's a microscope over here. And calendars from 2007. FedEx packages, nothing really in this room. More of these little labs. I know these would would hold like tubes. Tubes, yeah. Clamps. So this is where they would be holding a lot of blood or human. It smells bad in there. And here there's just a bunch of syringes. Wow. We found one of these. Looks like there's still something in there. I'm not really too sure what it is. Oh. That's pretty cool. They're like broken on some of them. Anastasia extension sets. So we just came in this closet right here, and there's just a bag with a vial full of blood. Look at that, that liquid just moving in that one. Wow. Another one right here. Looks like it's like pee. Yeah, it's definitely pee. If anyone in the comments can let me know what these are, I would love to know. There's a full one. I mean, these are empty, but there's just a whole cabinet full. Wow, I just cannot believe we just found all of this. If you read on one of these, it says, oh, it just says their name. It's a, it's different kinds of ulcers. That's what it's testing. I'm a little grossed out touching these with my hands, but I like, gotta do it. What is this? Broke the bottom of the bag. What is it? Chemical company? I'm not too sure what that is, but they have a full box of them. These look like they still had had some stuff in them as well. Ew. Up here, there's more of these, just with everything in them. Just complete boxes of them. Up here, 
here. I think this is just more pee. But there's just like tons and tons. So in the room with all the specimens and blood work and pee, there's just a little fridge type of thing. Look at it. For human or from human plasma. This is in its own bag with a biohazard on it. <laughs> they're all from the chemical company. Looks like someone threw a bunch of the test tubes. It looks like there's a bunch of old blood or some kind of substance on the ground. You can see one of those signal vials I was showing you before. And then these biohazards. Oh, look at that. In this one, you can still see there's a. You see what I'm talking about in that little slide? Oh, yeah, some shit in there. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. Oh my, ew. So we just found what was in that bag. They're like frozen together. It has like a little label on it. Oh. Tons of paperwork. Oh my gosh. A whole garbage can full of paperwork. So in this room, they had cages from when they would test on the animals. This is a huge operating light. When you come behind this door right here, it's like the four little operating rooms. So this is the first one I just showed you. You come in here, you got this big, Huge operating room. That's cool. It's like jammed up there. You can't really move it across the room. And then you come in here and there's a third huge operating room. Just operating room, I should say. And then you go in the little middle section. There's some sinks. And then back in those rooms. Please, one vial of stairs, stairs per each load. Thank you, from Manny. So this is pretty cool, American sterilizer. This room is intended for survival surgery. So we came behind those doors blocking off like the main hallway. And this is the room I just showed you guys where it was all the operating lights. So they have this like blocked off for, for surgery. And it was really cool to see. I don't understand why this paperwork is just completely untouched. There's everything else, like not even decay. Wow. I don't even know what this machine is. Got another huge operating light in the surgery hallway. So there's like this little office. Still got the copier machine. A lot of paperwork and old machinery. It's a current surgical therapy book. Brand new. Brand new, bro. That's sick. Disposable clip applier. Surgical clips. Illinois potentially infectious medicinal waste manifest. That's filled out as well. And this is full of paperwork. All right, so that's going to be it for today's video at the abandoned animal testing facility. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.